This 3D printed model simulates the relative speed of revolution of four inner planets Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars. Instead of a motor, I can move it by hand as well. All these planets orbit around the sun in a counterclockwise direction. Time taken to complete one revolution around the sun varies. Mercury takes the shortest time, 88 days. Venus, 225 days. Earth, 365 days and Mars, 687 days. That also means the speed with which these planets travel varies. Let us remove Venus and Mars for now. For one revolution of the Earth around the Sun, Mercury completes 4.15 revolutions. For one revolution of the Earth around the Sun, Venus completes 1.66 revolutions. On the other hand, Mars covers only half the revolution for one complete revolution of the Earth around the Sun. How about size? Mercury is the smallest, almost one third that of Earth, while Mars is one half of the Earth. Venus is almost identical. Let me walk you through the design process I followed. For gear ratio calculations, I use the gear generator and FreeCAD for designing 3D printed parts. More on that later. Let us do the assembly first. This wooden plank will be the base for all the axles used in the model. Markings on the paper are calculated distances between gears while designing it in FreeCAD. We'll use hand drill to make holes. Thick cycle spoke is used as an axle for the gears. This will house the main axle around which all planets will rotate. This 3D printed hexagonal axle with hole in the center enables easy positioning and locking of gears. This ring can be used to lock the position of gear at the required height. Compound gear is built by placing gears on the top of one another like this. Ratio can be changed easily by replacing one gear with another. We we'll start with gears for Mercury. Desired gear ratio is 1 is to 4.15. Driven gear is attached to a long axle planet will be attached to this axle.
Now let us build a gear train for Venus. We need a ratio of 1 is to For Earth, the ratio is 1 is to 1. We just need an idler gear for this. For Mars, the ratio is 1 is to 0.53. To maintain distance between driven gears of different planets, spacers are used. Now all gear trains with axles are in place. As all gears are interconnected, any gear can be used as a driver. This round disc is used to connect planets to the axle. Each disc has different diameter just to snugly fit in the respective axle. These discs are later locked in place with the help of an allen nuts. To keep long axles lighter, I decided to 3D print part of it. Now on the actual design part. I used a gear generator to decide on the gear ratios. Gear with 18 teeth is the drive gear for all the gear trains. Odd number of gears for each gear train ensures that all driven gears rotate in the same direction. With the help of free CAD, gears and fixtures were designed. Construction geometry came handy while fixing distances between various gears. As each gear train is built as a separate layer, I could overlap gears vertically to save some space. Axle for Mercury is the tallest, while that of Mars is the shortest. They are 3D printed, but can be replaced by metal tube to reduce friction. This printout of axle position comes handy for placement of various axles and gears. 
as 3D printed gears are not very precise, allow for some variations in the calculated distances between axles. As always, this was my 7th version which finally worked. In earlier versions, these smaller axles were used. This approach worked well for 4 planets. For a complete solar system, I will have to find some alternate way to drive the planets around the sun. Maybe thin and sturdy copper or brass tubing instead of a plastic one. Do give it a try. Thank you.